Wrestle culture. <clears throat> Me and Phil wants to hold hands as we <laughs> put, put our arms open for that. We, we, you know, we did the same thing before. <laughs> we did a little test stream and I didn't have like touchy feely. Anyway, <clears throat> sorry, I didn't want to get you on there. Don't yeah. worry, it's a, it's a weird one today. I'll be honest. <laughs> yeah, oh, as opposed to all the normal today. ones. Today, good. Just today, Grand. though, girl. <laughs> My God, That's a good start. Tonight we're gonna watch Dynamite. You know how I know? Because it's Wednesday. And Wednesday nights are the night that we watch Dynamite. Monday night is Raw. Tuesday night's the best wrestling show of the week. But Wednesday, we watch Dynamite. It's when everything's just great. There's no Vanderpump rules on. Conditions are perfect. You haven't had your after work sp sports team practice. So you're not too tired. And it's all on. Don't look at me. <laughs> You lean in and whisper something sexy in my ear like, I might watch the Fed. <laughs> I prefer sports entertainment to wrestling. I know what you're trying to say, girl. <laughs> you're trying to say, oh, yeah. Big business time. Big business time. Big business. Big business time. They got Mercedes Monet, Will Ospreay, Matt and Jeff Hardy, and Anna J. U. Big business, big business time. Oh, oh yeah. I'm on a Wilbur Walk Culture. <laughs> That's your final line. Yeah. <laughs> John Michael James and Adam Nicholas from Walk Culture. Wow. I'm not going to get much wow. sleep. Ten. <laughs> you okay? 10,000 subscribers. <laughs> That's what that gets you. There you go. Thank you to everyone who's. Uh, <laughs> Oh, they've gone. <laughs> and that's back this to zero. This is another one stream. Oh, no, everybody's just gone. They've all left. Great. Actually, I've always thought, you know, what if someone could improve, like, the Concords? And there we have it. What if? What, what if? if? <laughs> and the answer is they can't. Yeah. That's what happens. So just yeah. levels to this game. We're on the same yeah. one. Uh, before we get into it, though, if you're a fan of this sort of thing, make sure you subscribe to What Culture Wrestling on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Amazon Music, and YouTube. Ooh. <laughs> we do daily wrestling podcasts where we review <laughs> Raw Smite and the show formerly known as NXT Tupac. Hey! We've done about AW Collision pay per views, premium live events. We have interviews, roundtable discussions, and a round of the week complete. The quiz, of course, on Wrestle Culture. As I said, though, joined by Phil and Nicholas to discuss all the goings on in wrestling this week. We are live on YouTube. Thanks to everyone who's joining us. It's uh, working. It's working. Well, yes, let's for now. Check. <laughs> Is it definitely working? Let, Let us, us know. know. He's got the chat there, so yeah. I want to keep running back and forth. I don't know if you've noticed, but we've had some issues. <laughs> Shout out to it's been a while. <laughs> Ezekiel, who says, I get to start my day working in a scissor lift with some wrestling talk. Hell yeah. What? Oh, I'm thinking, how, like, you know, like an elevator. Yes. Like, what, what, why is the lift shaped like an elevator? <laughs> and I'm assuming that's because like of them, like, like yeah, knife wrench yeah, and yeah, scrubs. Yeah. These two things shouldn't go together. <laughs> These two things don't belong in the same sentence. <laughs> uh, thank you to Michael Everett, who says, it looks like everything's working, boys. Hey. Michael, hey. welcome. Uh, Sailor Aaron, also, thank you for your donation, Sailor Aaron. Hey. He says, Happy Friday, boys. I just got my pre sale tickets for Money in the Bank this week. Uh, fingers crossed for a heel Liv Morgan winning her second briefcase and maybe a Grayson Waller. Money in the Whoa. bank win. Whoa. Hope you guys are there too. We will be there. I don't know if that's the case. I'm just going to try and speak it into <laughs> reality. Yeah. Manifest. Not yeah, everyone. So not everyone. Just us three. Um, yes. Just us three. Not even Simon Miller. No. He didn't get to go this time. <laughs> just the three of us. We deserve it. We're going to be flown out by no chance we a... Get where's, without Simon Miller. Where's Canada? <laughs> that's true. <laughs> Money in the bank, Canada. Toronto, yes. baby. Toronto. A Canadian billionaire is going to fly places. us out. Yeah. <laughs> Have you? Yeah. yeah. How are they? Not great. <laughs> <laughs> Although... Also looked at flights to Cleveland. Also not great. Okay. Yeah. What if... Pitch idea. Okay. Bit of a Hello. production meeting whilst on, you know... Scratch and sniff. Smell mm -hmm. the pitch. Let's go. What if we just stay in America after WrestleMania until Money in the Bank, which is only, what, a couple of months after that? 
Yeah, it's only July 6th. On my birthday. Of course. So and you're telling me there's a chance. And then by that point, we might as well, still, well, might as well stay till August. And then yeah, got summer, summer slam. slam as well. And at that point, you might as well stay till Romania 3rd. So what yeah. we're doing essentially is we're moving to America. You heard it here first, everybody. Yeah. The What Culture HQ has relocated. Anyone who's got <laughs> to do their room the United that we can <laughs> states all go live in of America. <laughs> um, but let's talk big business because Mercedes... Big business. I'm not going to do the full one. Yeah, do the full one. Just, the just full do it. One. Just do it. Come okay. on. Okay. Yeah. You know what it is? If it all goes wrong, it was my fault. Send me the goddamn bill. <laughs> I haven't got the um, Imperium entrance for Mercedes. No, we don't want Mercedes. that one. We want this one. <laughs> I've just got this one. Mercedes. Money. 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 Is all elite. Really excited to see what she does there. Yeah, me too. Good. Me too. Anyway, next, next topic. Next topic. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Grand. Solid. <laughs> Yo. Yeah. It was one of those ones where... How much can we make him really struggle with this? Like, just being <laughs> really... I'll just read you bad. the song again if needs be. I mean, don't make him do that, so that's... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but in terms of, like, it was always going to be a little bit difficult because people are like, cool, so just do what you did with CM Punk, one of the greatest talks <laughs> in, the, in the world. But I thought they pitched it really well in terms of... Obviously, you can't just be like, eh, it's going to happen like halfway through the show. You top and tailed the show with it. They probably should have said that she's going to be coming back a little bit later <laughs> looking at the ratings. Yeah, anyway. But um, in terms of, yeah, her coming out and cutting a promo and sort of establishing herself as this megastar that she is, and then maybe teasing a Brit Baker program down the line. Did I read too much into <laughs> the CEO? No, was exactly no, first I think thing that I thought definitely of. targeted slightly. I just think she looks... Absolutely goddamn fantastic. Mm. She's like, as soon as she came out, it's like, oh, star. Yeah. <laughs> like, this is oh, yes. ludicrous how much of a no, star it she ludicrous comes across. Film. As. It was Mercedes money. Mercedes money. <laughs> Get back, motherfucker. You don't know me like that. <laughs> um, but yeah, she, it's just. She just stands out immediately. Oh, I swore. God you did it. it. <laughs> ah, ludicrous. I not to. It's all ludicrous. It's false. But yeah, she looks <laughs> amazing. Um, oh. She was obviously very, very, very excited to yeah. be back in wrestling. And they've teased quite a few little promos. Like mm -hmm. you've got the sort of CEO DMD thing. You've obviously got the stuff with Willow at the end, which is like, oh, you did kind of do this to me. Mm -hmm. There's something you can do there. You've got the stare downs with... Um, the, 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 Why can't I think of a name? Oh, yes. Oh, mine gone Go blank. On. I tell you, mine gone blank. <laughs> Wonderful. Julia. Julia's friend. Julia. Julia Hart. <laughs> <laughs> Here she is. The champ. Sky Blue's friend. My word. Um, but there's like this. Wow. Like this teased quite a lot of potential things yeah. within a very sort of non storyline based couple of segments, really, mm. um, which is quite well done. Really well done. And yeah, she just comes across like she's going to own that division completely because she's amazing. Felt very much like. What AEW it used to be really good, yeah. at, didn't it? Just like make me think about the things that are going to be down the line. I think yeah. you probably could have done with maybe a couple more of the big. I think Sage mentioned this, and I would agree. Like maybe a couple more of the bigger names. Like yeah, don't like hammer at home like Michael Cole style, but just tease me a bit with what or make me think about what you could have from all. There's so many great matchups you could have. Mm -hmm. It's like I am as excited about her being here. In AW, as I was excited at the idea of Okada going to WWE, yeah, from a mixed matchups point of view. Yeah. But I have to say, Okada in AW has kicked ass. Yeah, so far. yeah, yeah. yeah. And we obviously will get to that. But Mercedes Money though just looks. We talked about Jade Cargill not too long ago being like a star. Seeing her in real life felt like seeing a star. That confused me whether it was actual reality or if I had actually seen <laughs> it on the <laughs> telly. Yeah. Yeah. Genuinely yeah. couldn't. Couldn't remember, but some people just hold themselves differently. They do. And I don't know what it is that they do, but it's, it's the, like, it's, oh my God. It sounds stupid, but it's those small details, man. It's taking the time. The, yeah. Two outfits in one night. I know that sounds like nothing. That's everything. Yeah. That is yeah. wrestling. I, that is amazing outfits, by the way. Amazing well. like outfits. Insane. And shout out to one of my favorite wrestling photographers out there, Ryan Loco, who does awesome work and is now working full time, I believe, yeah. for AW. You have to tell me, Ryan. But his photos are just like... Was he's the one of our card of that? Did you retweet the ones yeah, the behind, behind the scenes? Scene yes. Ones. And it's they literally are. just her walking up the steps. Yeah. And it's like, my God, But it's the so detail, good. isn't it? You <laughs> see seven every foot tall. Incredible. <laughs> it's like, like Ryan Loco, the, the Okada one I've seen doing the yes. rounds recently yes. as well. Yeah. yeah, that's awesome. If it kicks ass, usually it's yeah. Ryan Loco, basically, yeah. Um, uh, hi to Matt Rains in the chat, by the way. He says, happy Friday, gents. Have a great weekend. You too, Matt. 22 days. Three weeks' time, we'll be in... 22 days to go. Yeah. 
Three weeks' time, we'll be in Philadelphia, lads. Yeah, we will. No, we will. That's crazy, isn't it? That's mad. Yeah, next week is our last wrestle culture before Mania because we've got a good Friday here in the UK. So I'm not working that. Um, <laughs> four day weekend. <laughs> he's right, he's right. So it's going to be a <laughs> great Friday. Oh, well, yeah. All right. I mean, no, it's a sad Friday. Culture in Philadelphia? Maybe. <laughs> Busy, aren't we? <laughs> really busy. It's not That's wrong. That's for you guys. It's not wrong. <laughs> and in fairness, isn't that like the one night you and me have off? Yeah. Yeah. We've so got to do a wrestle culture. You got. I mean, we could. Or we're time. getting in a very early night, being very sensible because Saturday morning. Sounds like you've got a lot of time on your hands. What I'm thinking do is a wrestle culture uh, to me. Either we do that let approach. Ten thousand people down. Either we do that approach. I mean, <laughs> I think you've already did that on the test stream. <laughs> 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 in either we do that or. If we don't go to bed, it's still the same day. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm just. I mean, I'm not going to have the energy to stop. To do I'm just, I'm just showing off because people are watching. I have no intention no. of that, but I'm just saying <laughs> it's WrestleMania weekend. Philadelphia, baby. Hey, this is possible. No, I always, not. Get, always get giddy at the start of a holiday as well. So, yeah. I am flip, looking flip, forward flip to Philadelphia more than anything. Well, not more than anything, but one of the things I'm most looking forward to is. End of trip him, <laughs> especially knowing the layover we have in yeah seven Heathrow. hours in Heathrow. Listen, all I'm going to say about that is if I leave you all and you don't know where I've gone, I got the train. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry, if it happened, that's probably what happened. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Do they have seven hours they in must Heathrow. have places you can like Stupid rent a bed ass. or something. No, yes, they're called hotels. I mean, it's a hotel, yeah. <laughs> Hotel. I'm thinking like oh, this futuristic okay. uh, bed renting, but yes, the hotel next door. Ten that would thousand make... subscribers. I've got this high business pitch. I'm going on Dragon's and stem with it. Right. Picture this. Hey, what if, what if you could rent some... a bed, but only yeah. for a day? The problem is, after I've rented a bed, sometimes in the morning I'd have morning breath. If only there was something I could put in my mouth to make it smell clean. <laughs> And then it's called toothpaste. The problem is after that is, you know, I've slept for like say eight hours and uh, I'm, I'm eating at that time. I'm already hungry. <laughs> so is there anything that can accompany mm. my bed <laughs> that yeah, will what? satiate my hunger and thirst? You're and, not going to believe it. Go on. It was written on the it, beds and, and breakfast. What? <laughs> <laughs> uh, hi to Mr. Phoenix who says, I've just got tickets for Smackdown. Oh my God. Nice. Money in the bank. Oh my God. And NXT. <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, they're doing like a three I ticket thing. Yeah, yeah, they I are really with heat wave as the main event. I want to get <laughs> one. Uh, just work out how I'm going to get there after that. Uh, do a live show so I can watch the salty pine pineapple live the gimmick of being mentally shook over how good NXT is. <laughs> uh, and Mr. Phoenix also says check your vid and pod machines for a new series called The State of Wrestling with myself and the legendary Jake DeMarco. Also, birds aren't real and F Phil should fight Simon in Toronto. <laughs> Hell, yeah. if, if people want to pay for that and it gets us to Toronto, I'm game. We <laughs> are doing a... Do, we, do people know about the race that we have planned? We've talked about this, haven't we? I haven't really hidden it. They've been it, talking about it on WrestleCulture mm. for the last yeah, well, three well, weeks. Has Miller volunteered for it or are we just pushing it? I know, we're just putting him, he's just doing it. I would like to see him have to do some cardio, though. I'm very, very curious. <laughs> we're running he has up a the lot more steps. body to lug up those yeah. steps than we yeah, do. Yeah, but he's still in good... Wrestling's no joke, man. It requires a lot of cardio, but... How much? Mm. Got not question. much leg strength, that boy, I don't think. So oh, that's yeah, what I'm that's going to be his problem. Yeah. <laughs> I hope the step's like being cracked. Like, you know, when a superhero runs across something, something yeah. like, boom, <laughs> boom. No. We need to sort out some, like, betting odds for it. Yeah, maybe. So Actually, got, uh, who's the longest odds, you reckon? To win it? To win it. <sighs> to win it. Out of who? Well, I how, think what? Sidge, but only because he he's won't, not, won't be asked yeah, He won't be asked what. He's not doing it, you mean. That's why, but no. He's, he's gonna a competition. No. He thinks he might lose. The only way, the only, the only way he does <laughs> Don't it. Don't be silly. Silly. He's gonna wacky races it. No, I'm just gonna go over here, guys. And he jumps in the car with like the anthill mob or something. Straight to the top. Or like what we were yeah. saying before. Everyone else sets off, trips over the first step, face yeah. plants into them, and he just walks. I, he's everyone. tied all of our laces together. <laughs> given given my history with kibs and like four. Oh God! I think I'm, I'm really that, do remember that mouth guard you all bought me for my birthday? Yes. I think I'm gonna have to wear that while running because I don't want to lose no pearly whites. On the uh, <laughs> on Philadelphia Road, Ooh. is that what it's called now? Yeah, Philadelphia Road. Well, with the healthcare system, would you just like, well, I'm going to take this right till we well, go home? I, mean, I guess 
We'll go for a worry about this later. <laughs> we do have insurance through future, so cool. we're okay. Oh, okay, so, so smash so, my yeah, teeth. Smash is what I I yeah, can I get my teeth want. done then? I want them like whitened or I get some veneers <laughs> or something whilst we're out there. I want to go on a turkey by going to, to Philadelphia, Phil. <laughs> yeah, Phil. Billboard. Whatever the hell you call it. Um, OG Stem Cell says SummerSlam's coming to Cleveland as someone who works five minutes from the stadium. I can't wait for the week's activities. Uh, where's the rock and what culture live show going to be? Don't, don't tempt me. <laughs> In my house, because I am his number one fan. Are you fine? <laughs> I am his number one fan. Oh, it's good. It's a good. Well, sup- no, I have no, no, That's I your bed, yes. You have I've a tattoo. Got, oh, no, it's just Frank Ocean. Never mind. Um, the real one. The real one. <laughs> and John Harrison, he of the brilliant, uh, obviously, wrestle culture theme, Aye. says, Good Friday, boys. Is Mercedes a money? The catalyst TK needs to finally start booking the women's division the way it deserves. Peace and love. Peace and love. Peace, Peace and, and love. love. I sincerely hope so. Yeah. If not just as the um, like leverage point yeah. so far, I mean, already what, I know it's very early doors, but women in the main event, good, great yeah. start. It should yeah. be the norm for for as many as they want, really. Mm-hmm. Um, I hope that part of her thing is that she's encouraging this, maybe ending the ladies' night feature that happens on the Please. Dynamite Review pod. <laughs> Sick just put more than one women's <laughs> match on a card. It's really not, not and not. Hard. And if they do put more than one on, it has to be longer than five minutes. And it can't just yeah. be next to the other women's match. <laughs> yeah. We see what you're doing, mm. Tony. We see you. Did you see any of the Kick Rocks podcast thing that she did before I she saw her you? on it. I didn't see loads of it. I saw yeah. a tiny clip where she was talking about Bailey. But yeah. She it. speaks about it on that, about like specifically like one of her missions is to sort of obviously make women's wrestling be as mm. respected as yeah. humanly possible. And obviously she was a massive part of it within WWE and the Four Horsewomen and the sort of rise... Um, the women's evolution over there and things like she was a massive, massive part of that. But it very much feels like she is still very much on that mission to make women's wrestling as big as the men's. And you want to believe. much respect on it. Yeah. And like if you're going into a place with AEW, like she will have seen <coughs> the track record. And so I assume there is something in place there, either mm. that she is going to push like hell mm. to get this done and a bit better going forwards. Or they've told her something about plans that, well, yes, we have more plans mm. for this going forwards. Um, but yeah, now's the time to deliver. Like, for sure. Make yeah, make this feel like a, a monumental shift and yeah. something really important. I mean, four years ago would have been great as well. But well, yeah, this <laughs> is true. Now <laughs> this is, is true. the yeah. time to Better deliver. Than ever. If you're not going to do it for you, they though. have got the most ridiculous. We, I feel like we keep saying it, and then I just yeah, been another six months great. passes. They do have the most ridiculous women's roster. If they want to use it, yes. yeah, I just don't get why they don't. Um, oh, Aditya Krishna Murphy. Hope I forgot your name right there. Favourite Frank Ocean song, Nicholas? Oh, my <laughs> God. There's too many. Actually, this is my favourite Frank Ocean song, Provider, but there's so many different ones. Mm. Uh, the one that I cried to in real life was Self Control, which I'm sure everybody does too. Um, but, yeah, there are many. I won't bore you two with this forever. <laughs> but he's the best, for sure. Uh, interesting suggestion here from Brit Pro Gamer, who says, Afternoon, boys. Any thoughts, any thoughts on having viewers as guests on live shows for debates using Skype or similar? If so, sign me up. Keep up the good work, lads. Ah, so well, if you pay for us to go to one of the <laughs> shows, no, uh, we'll look into that. That's a good idea. I have been wanting to do a call-in show on the podcast just because I think it'd be really funny. Yeah. Like, uh, who, uh, uh, is it Todd Grisham? We used to have to suffer through that for the <laughs> yeah, WWE. Yeah, or whatever it yeah. was. Yeah, DNA's better. Well, uh, it's not actually <laughs> so. Sure. we did, we have had talks about this. It's not something we've... Uh, avoided. Yeah, it's the logistics of it are diff- more difficult than it, yeah. you might imagine, but we'll figure something out. Hmm. No, you said we'll figure out. That means you're promising the people. We'll try and figure something out. There he is. <laughs> there we go. Um, and Christopher Moncayo Tor- Torres says, congrats on the 10K subs. Thank you very much, Chris. Thank you. Uh, was curious why Nicholas isn't mic'd during podcasts. His unheard oh. banter usually pops the Dadleys. would love to hear it. That's the next thing on the list. It's make sure we can stream. And now it's uh, <laughs> Mike up, Adam uh, Nicholas. too hot for TV is what it is. <laughs> uh, they, they just can't handle it, I don't think. In a weird way, I, some, of the other, some of my other favorite podcasts... Mm. I really like when you can just hear someone like laughing off camera or yes. talking off camera. But I understand that sometimes, you know. It's, it's a, difficult because sometimes we do end yeah. up having, we end up talking and have a conversation. Yeah. And I'll interject with something that I feel mm. is important and we do talk about it. Yeah. And I'm just literally talking very quietly, I imagine, to them <laughs> in the background. So we'll sort a microphone out. I just, yeah, we, I don't know if we even own a one that would work 
And yeah. it needs to get all the way across fader. there, doesn't it? We've got a fourth fader. Yeah. We've got it's just it's more just literally logistics of us being sl- smart enough to buy the long wire. Yes. <laughs> to, to set it up. We did f- and make sure one of us big wire, yeah, really. Make sure one of us, usually me, doesn't trip over it before and kick over <laughs> No, it, actually it's usually harmful. Let's be honest. <laughs> usually harmful. I'm sure one of these tellies has like got this little square. Like this in inadv- like um what's the way I'm looking for? It doesn't happen all the time. Um, inconsistent, we'll call it. Oh, intermittent, yeah, intermittent, intermittent square of pixels, right? <laughs> in the top corner that just is missing. And it'll sometimes be there and sometimes it won't. And I have to unplug the HDMI cable and plug it back in just to oh, make it disappear. Because he booted it once. Yeah, yeah I remember the that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he kicked the leg out of its leg and it just it had no chance because it's just a telly. <laughs> the fact that Daryl with this call in show says, just Daryl, sorry, says, I'm calling in just to berate Squarehead about his dislike of dogs. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it should be useful. There yeah, we go. That's it. Well, in it fact, needs to happen now. I would like to do a, a whole, like, just a just Hamlet sitting in the hot seat, yeah. just getting questions about what his problem is with dogs. <laughs> um, a guy, yeah, he's broken inside, yeah. isn't he? Mm-hmm. Um, so we've got a, a new star coming into AEW, Mercedes Money, joining the likes of yeah. Osprey and Okada. Unfortunately, one is departing as well because <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying this sentence out loud. Darby Allen's off to Everest. What? I mean, good luck for all of us here at What Culture, but yeah. I still can't believe this is actually happening. You know, he's going to get up with what they did to his leg on Bloody Dynamite as well. Wait, it was weird. It's a bit thing, mean, like, guys. Pillman eyes on a man's ankle. <laughs> yeah, right, right before, before he, he goes to climb Everest. Everest. They knew he was climbing Great Everest. Heat, by the way. Great yeah. Heat. <laughs> Real good. Heat. But it's just. <laughs> Has that ever happened? Like, I know wrestlers have gone off and done other things, movies yeah. and other sports, possibly even. But just going to take a quick break. Oh, you're going on a holiday? Everest. Getting married? Nah, I'm going to go climb. The most terrifying. I mean, to each their own, I guess. Yeah. It doesn't surprise you, though. It fits its no, own it brand for his... With Darby Allen. He loses he's life, done some it? pretty stupid stuff in his best spare time. <laughs> I will say this. If, if it... And uh, fingers crossed that he... Gets up there and gets back down. Obviously. It's a very dangerous thing mm-hmm, to do. Mm-hmm. Um, if he does come back down, I'm sure the videos that we'll get will be great. You know, yeah. he spends a lot of time doing his little, like, uh, yeah. university film projects before he yes. yeah. His little video package yeah. of going up and then honestly, coughing, dropping oh, back down yeah. again. I mean, let's hope. Now, that would be an interesting approach. <laughs> I've never oh, seen I, don't, I have a feeling he wouldn't be able to give me the video afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. That's, the, that's the thing. I look at these people going up Everest and they've got their Sherpas and they've got their oxygen tanks and they've got their, you know, coats and gloves and hats. That is what people wear, yeah. Coats and gloves. <laughs> Make sure you wrap, you know, the gloves are the ones. Taping sure. up nice and Oh, God, I'm so Got glad you mittens. said make sure you wrap up before you go to Everest. I was having shorts and T-shirt on. <laughs> Looks sunny up there. And they uh, they never have a sledge with them. No. I, think, I think it's the easiest way yeah. down that, isn't it? Yeah. Bob it on. The parachute. Oh, we go. Or a little, you know, you know when, when times are tough, when I was younger, I remember using like a little bin bag. Just take a bin bag yeah. with you. Barely, take a bin bag. Anything. Yeah, you zip, you zip away. You bin, can use your bin tent bag and sleep in it on the way up and then you slide on your tent on the way down. And then, and then you just fly you down like five minutes, yeah. yeah if you get your mum or whoever, you could be a dad as well. If you're going to get if the... If you want. Well, just because <laughs> it's... Own. Get the, to each their own. Yeah. <laughs> either of your dads, either of your mums, whichever yeah. one you want. Uh, get some fairy liquid, just give you a little run down before you go in the bin bag. You will, honestly... You think Darby Allen goes faster, one of them suicide (laughs) dives, bad choice of words. You will go flying in a bin bag, (laughs) flying in a bin bag. So I'm just saying, fun to be had for the low, low price of 99 pence. (laughs) How much are your bin bags? One one bin bag for 99 pence? Yeah, yeah, because I'm buying one bin bag. (laughs) No, but the fairy liquid as well. Oh, it's good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'm getting the fairy liquid for for cheap premium. And then I'm buying one bin bin bag on someone. (laughs) Not to put too much pressure on you, Phil, but that's... That's his Dragon's Den idea. I've come up with bed and breakfast. Yeah, so you, by the end of this podcast, we're he's be literally time. invented bed and breakfast. So okay. I think we're slightly disproportionate there. I've, I've invented a way to really hurt yourself while sledging. Bin bags. For cheap, though. For cheap. Dragons. For cheap. Bin bags. Fairy liquid. You got to say more. Put your hands together. <laughs> One million dollars. <laughs> They're like, I'm in. Yeah. I'm in. What did they say? Is that I'm in? Uh. Yeah. They say I'm out. I'm out. Yeah. They say I'm out. Oh, so that's <laughs> not what they probably it all about. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you do the dragon's den and then you turn around. Um, Do they have the hokey cokey in America? Oh, good question. Let's know, chat. Do you have the hokey cokey in America? It's not banned. British. They banned Kinder Eggs. It feels very Butlins. Shut up, man. They did, didn't they? They They banned banned Kinder Eggs. That can't be true. Kinder Eggs. Who bans Kinder Eggs? They must have invented them, surely. Right? Let us know, chat. 
Come on. Kinder eggs. Kinder eggs. I'll swear. Oh, maybe I just read that. Chocolate, <laughs> chocolate with a gift inside. Got banned inside. in America. I don't think so. No. Kinder eggs. Can't have I'm that. Sorry, I'm not having that. In America. <laughs> no. <laughs> I think you just Any non nutritive object embedded inside a confectionery item is forbidden. What? I don't believe that for a second. Oh, they call it the hokey pokey. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. This, this is, it's, it happens. You know? Yeah, it happens. Yeah. <laughs> At least it made it full of hokey. <laughs> the words people just writing, yeah, hokey pokey. <laughs> yeah, I mean, bro, it's a hokey pokey, so <laughs> get with the dams, yo. It's illegal to import them as well, so do not bring Kinder Eggs in your oh, bag. Does anybody, anybody want a Kinder Egg? <laughs> does anybody want illegal Kinder Eggs? That's what we can give the... Um, <laughs> That's my dragon. The, the, what they call I'm it? Smuggle I'm Kinder Eggs. Smuggle Kinder Eggs. Come on, Brian. <laughs> into America. The VIP people. <laughs> they get a Kinder Egg. The live show. Kinder Egg. Go to jail. Kinder Eggs are quite expensive. <laughs> Don't tell it. What, now. That one guy who's dressed, it's like a cop dressed as like a wrestler fan. Hey, yeah, wrestle be. buddies, I'll have my Kinder Egg I now. I sure I love. Have. <laughs> what did uh, Ash Hello, call fellow what, kids. what did Ash call Stone Cold Steve Austin um, that time? Stephen uh, Stone Steve Cold Austin. Yeah, that's what they'd yeah. say. <laughs> sure, you love me some Stephen Stone Cold Austin. <laughs> Actually, shout out Ash Millman who is on a they, new a new uh, journey yeah, in her career. She kicks ass, Ash mm. Millman. I'm sure she's going to do great in yes, whatever is. she does next. What a relief. Thank you to uh, Betley Island, who says, we do have Kinder Eggs. We kind of have Kinder Eggs. The, the, toys, the toy just <laughs> comes out of the egg. It uh, comes outside of the egg instead of inside. That's not, oh. that's not a Kinder Egg. That's not a Kinder Egg. That's that's oh. a kinder egg. That's Our chocolates just have weed in them, like right? Carl Stevens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, that's no, the no, real that's prize. <laughs> oh, look, we'll you. swap you some Kinder Eggs. And, you know. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Well, we'll swap you one of those. You get it, you one of ours. You managed to crack in half, period. Oh, there it is. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> There's my little baggy. Over there. Uh, I'll see you later. Uh, but talking <laughs> of uh, businesses and way of smuggling drugs, by the way. <laughs> Just saying. Right. Bill. There we go. There it is. There it There's is. There's his Dragon's Den <laughs> idea. Boom. Got it. Well done, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Bin bags with fairy liquid for the win, though. Am I right? <laughs> oh. Let us know in the comments. Can we do a vote in Who the comments? Who would comment? you buy in with? What the hell were we smoking before we came <laughs> on this podcast, man? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, we're talking of uh, <laughs> controversial businesses. <laughs> yeah, hey. okay. If you nail this, I'll be impressed. What do you make of Prime sponsoring the ring <laughs> in WWE? Oh, you know what? It's pretty, that was pretty, last pretty, week. pretty oh, good, that. In the last week. Yeah, it's, last, that this week? yeah, it's always weird. We talk yeah, about SmackDown, Smackdown a week later. Oh, SmackDown, yeah, of course. Um, yeah, It's big. <laughs> I like it. I think it's funny. I think it's really If he was a baby face, he'd be screwed. I think it's but... funny because of how gross it is. It's, <laughs> yeah. it's amazing. That's It's the kind of heel thing as well, isn't it, of the fact it's so ugly looking. Mm. Yeah. And it's the only thing in the middle of the ring. And it's too big. Yeah. It's Quite I mean, I'd go full hog and have Prime sponsor WrestleMania and just have gigantic Prime. Yes. Yeah. The entrance. Uh, he had, he had uh, what was it, like? A, the uh, the ring posts were going to each have a drink sponsor on them. <laughs> C4 Energy. Uh, Prime. Oh, Prime. Mountain Dew. Mountain the Rocks Dew, one, you. whatever that is. Yes. I forget. Yeah. Um, zzz, begins with a Z. Zzz. I did enjoy that The Rock was drinking his energy drink on the same show that they announced Prime as the official drink. Yeah, what a guy. <laughs> and it's a guy who he doesn't like, who got him in his <laughs> hot water once. That's even oh, amazing. hang on one second. Oh, my God. John Harrison writes, premium live events. Hey. I mean... That's it. Nailed it. John, you're part Get of the Dragon's Den Club now as well. <laughs> yes. Does anybody else have any great inventions they'd like to share with us today? <laughs> yes. Because we're on a roll. In fact, <laughs> just, call, just call us Butter. Because we're, we're on a roll. Butter us. <laughs> <laughs> so he like acknowledges. But it's Butter, butter you see? I did like that. Acknowledge <laughs> us. <laughs> us. <laughs> what did I tell you about putting question marks on the teleprompter? <laughs> Uh, You'll read everything you put on there. <laughs> Tully Television. Uh, I'm the tribal chief. <laughs> <laughs> Tully Television said, it's the nail on the head. I'll say it again. Logan Paul is frustratingly great at this business. He is great, isn't he? He is really good at it. It is annoying how good he is at it and how quickly he became incredibly good at it. <laughs> what do you think you do with him at Mania? I mean, I'm we were talking about this on the SmackDown preview earlier. Is it str- like just a normal Randy Orton, Logan Paul match? Or is there like... Kevin Owens fact in it is KSI going to work he took an RKO he did I think he wants in I think, I he, think he got a taste that, that he liked uh, that didn't yeah, he? he was great as well <laughs> and I don't really care about either of them but they're both great at what they do so yeah yeah he was that's one of the best bumps I've seen in years I also liked the, the, the Bret Hart could it never it was acting could never. It wasn't, but it wasn't underacting or overacting the grim 
yeah. the arm. You know? Yeah. <laughs> like just the acceptance of like, you almost turned around and went like that. Go on then. <laughs> yeah, for, uh, just for Sailor M in this, who is the one who normally is worried about someone being behind them? On a TV uh, show, that WWE does. Yeah, uh, that would be one. Uh, Ooh, Nathan Fraser. When I'm cleaning windows. <laughs> He's really, really good. He's Seth Rollins' prodigy, basically. <laughs> yeah. But he's stuck in NXT doing the best work of his career. Uh, <laughs> yep. Speaking of WrestleMania, it <laughs> is three. Speaking three of, of the showcase of the immortal. Yes. Um, we've got more big matches that have been added. We're getting a huge, preposterous six-pack ladder match for the tag titles. Twelve people and ladders. What can go wrong? I, I, I really am happy about that. Like, I wish them all well. I hope no one gets hurt, obviously. Yeah. But I was like, this is all well and good, and we've got some genuinely phenomenal matchups. But I want, I want to see someone get their head <laughs> stapled together like last yeah. year. <laughs> Isn't it funny when you're actually going to the show, how you book... You're happy with the book of show differently because you'll be there. Yeah. So like yeah. if you might not have been bothered about a certain match type, watching it live might be quite funny. So like all good or entertaining, I should point out. We don't want people to get hit, but yes. you know what I mean? Like it's one of those things, isn't it? You book you would book a show differently because you're like, Well, I'm gonna be there, so that's gonna yeah. be great. I've like a little bit I might not be interested, but that's a ladder don't and it's really tall. Yeah, don't you wanna save that match people. for next next uh, the next pay per view? Absolutely not. I'm not going no, to No, you should just put all the main events on one pay per view and then that's it. Done. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and, and the tag showcase last year was bloody like nuts yeah, enough, and yeah. it's going to be have two more teams and, and ladders. I think we'll all be go <laughs> oh god. We'll all be honest if we put our hands up and said we weren't expecting a lot from the tag showcase no. last year. We were like, eh, oh, and it was is a, this a time. Lot it was of fun. a lot of fun. It was really good. It depends where it, I can't remember exactly where it went on that show, but they did very well placing it at such an. It feels like it was an early stage, relatively early, yeah. yeah. Because yeah. there's definitely never a point where one of us turned to either each other as the teams making their entrances and went. Point. Like if that's <laughs> yeah. later on in the show, like let's have a look. Where was this on? You get those stone cold beers though. That was yeah. nice. Oh, we were good because that was weird. We were at thirty eight and we couldn't get them. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. so weird. In Texas, you can't get them. Then but this year, LA, but... we're probably going to still be able to get them. One would assume, especially because well, I'm printing him to turn up and induct Paul Heyman and maybe even get involved in some other stuff on the show. Yeah, and Prime. I can print and, the well, same. I hope you've last. told him so he's there. <laughs> Steve, was, we've got you on the yeah, show. Steve? It was, it was, get there. We're at WrestleMania first night. Oh my God, John Cena and Austin Theory done their thing. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad the that that way. So, that uh, was really short, yeah. wasn't it? That <laughs> was short. <Yeah. laughs> Didn't expect <laughs> that win, but whatever. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's funny, because we, we, we knew already, didn't we, when we were on the way over, they'd said in advance, Austin Theory, John Cena's going to open. Yeah. Mm. Full disclosure, I, I think I've already sold the both of you this. We were sort of on our way over, and it's obviously very busy around the stadium. And it, I love it. Not complaining about this whatsoever, but it's not like we can just arrive and go, right, there's our entrance, let's go in. People are coming up to Miller and the rest of us and getting mm -hmm. photos and stuff. And it's really nice, but it obviously delays things sometimes. And we were all like, ah, it's fine. You, 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 you were like, ah, it's fine. It's John Cena, uh, Austin Theory first. Who cares about that? And I was like, I do. Uh, I've never seen a John Cena entrance, and I really want to see that. I don't care about the match, um, but I want to be in my seat, please. And we got to see that. We ma made it just be fair, the timing time. was perfect. Oh, we yeah. sat down, and like video packages yeah. finished, and then it all started. It was like, yeah, <laughs> right I, dis in. I disagree. I, I thought our timing on WrestleMania 38 was more perfect, where we got to watch a DJ set for two hours. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to say this out. And I'm not saying that I'm the lucky charm, but I realize it's stupid to say it before we go this year. Yeah. I have always made it perfectly for the seat. Even Ooh. when we did, when we were at Wembley, if you recall, mm -hmm. we just got to the seat the exact right moment before the pre-show with the MGF Adam Cole match. Oh, yeah. Like, and people were struggling to get in that arena. We were just like, oh, let's go now. Time to perfectly got sat down. No problem. Same at New York and same at in Los Angeles. We mm. were. So this is the air where it all goes wrong. <laughs> so put a bad match on first. Our tickets are <laughs> yeah. invalid yeah. and our day is ruined. Yeah. Ha ha ha, it's all a joke. <laughs> um, Let's see here, folks, on you go. Jason Fratto says, following on from Wilborn unprofessionally leaving the NXT review for a bet. Yeah, I yeah, excuse we do need, myself. We're gonna have to talk about that soon. And yeah, we're gonna have to talk to you about it actually, because you keep asking him to do things while he's in the middle of the pod yeah. and he has to go and do them. Things need doing. Yeah. And then what sometimes- Specifically and at 3 p.m. on a Tuesday, <laughs> Wednesday afternoon. Sometimes he doesn't even ask you. <laughs> He's not even in. No, I forget, and, uh, and I'm like, oh no. And I feel like you're putting it on him as an excuse. So yeah. what I want to know is like, 
do we have an adventure with you? Are you doing stuff you shouldn't be during this time? No, I'm just, I'm just keeping myself busy. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I'm just, getting those Kinder eggs. You think? You think? <laughs> you think? Uh, you think those Kinder eggs with weed inside are going to make themselves? <laughs> you think uh, my gambling's bad? Jason Fratto says uh, after unprofessionally leaving the NXT review, bet. When are you going to let us start betting on the bloody good quiz? <laughs> I'm sure Keanu James can help start that business. Quite right. Well, yeah. Oh, he's like, so side bets. Oh, I'm going for Phil. He's Phil asking five. the questions. He's asking the questions. Obviously. We get like a bet three six five sponsorship yeah. or something. And this yeah. is the, the bloody good yeah. quiz. And then me and here. you are in on it. And I'm like, well, it just sounds like about to take a dive here. <laughs> We're going to Mania oh, 41, baby. I'm going to go option E. There isn't an option E. Well, looks like I like oh, that quiz. Looks like I played myself. <laughs> and potentially Jimmy versus Jay. One would assume getting announced soon. Jay laid out the challenge. I like the fact <laughs> that uh, Jimmy is going to say, no, I'm not going to fight you. Because he's a git. They're brilliant. <laughs> I love the way that they, these two have separated, by the way. I do. I, I, I'm not sure if I'm going to be like... When I'm there, I'm hoping it's going to be great. This is going to be great. Yeah, that's going to be great. I'm there for Jay's entrance. I'm Even there for all out, of those yeah. bits. And then, yeah. I'll, yeah, give me sure. I want them to prove me wrong and knock it out of the park. I do, but I... <laughs> don't... I'm not going in there with massively high expectations. Yeah. yeah. Based on the interactions I've seen between them already... It seems th- daft. It just seems like they're being a bit daft about it. I want yeah. to be like, this is a goddamn blood fluid. Blood fluid? Mm. <laughs> blood fluid. Blue blood. Blood fluid. Blood. <laughs> the fluid. <laughs> it's often a bit weird blood when you get the tag fluid. team partners going into a match. Like, it doesn't often work out in the way that you mm. think it mm. probably should. Like, working with someone for so long, you should be able to have mm. that perfect yeah. chemistry with them. But it's very different team you're wrestling them, them. To wrestling yeah. against yeah. them. Like, it happened with, like, the Hardy Boys, but never that great when they actually fought yeah each other. like even edging christian like when it first happened back in the day wasn't yeah amazing and it's like i was trying to think of any really good ones i guess when uh ftr did that thing in the tournament was that really was good great. that was that good that was really good i'd watch more cash wheeler singles matches. Like, <laughs> but there's not many examples of it going and this being absolutely amazing it's and there's a really not ma- weird little thing there's not many there's some obvious ones obviously but a lot of the time when they're like right i know it's not their decision a lot of the time but when it's like right Cass and Enzo, let's, let's go our separate ways. It's not like they've both gone, oh, wow, look at this trajectory you've gone on to you now. It's like, yeah. just as the New Day are always like, you don't have to just split. They can just, <laughs> if they want to do single stuff, just let them do that, and then they can yeah. come back together. You're obviously forgetting about Otis and Tucker, Phil, um, which obviously oh, was, yeah. was a home run, Poor that. Tucker. Um, I hope he's doing well, Tucker. Me yeah, me too. They, they kicked Tucker. ass. Those yeah. had no right to be as good as they were. Heavy machine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I love them. So much fun. All the stuff with Mandy Rose was amazing. Yeah. yeah. Made it work, and then just WWE doing a WWE on them. Yeah. Uh, dumb. <laughs> so <laughs> dumb. So dumb. I'll tell you what's not dumb, though. What Hello. we could get tonight on SmackDown. Arguably the reason I might stay up and watch SmackDown live, because of the time difference as well with the clocks going forward. Swing forward, fall back. Forward, of <laughs> course. Um, it means so it starts old. at midnight. Mm-hmm. And if it starts with a goddamn rock concert on SmackDown They're in Memphis... They are in Memphis. They've got me for the entire show. I don't want this to happen because I want them to save it for the SmackDown before oh. WrestleMania so I get to finally go to a good SmackDown. <laughs> <laughs> it would be funny if they didn't, though, wouldn't it? <laughs> Everyone's busy for the SmackDown before <laughs> WrestleMania. That would be. Doesn't have the mark, doesn't yeah. have Roman, doesn't have Doesn't Cody. have anybody. Just got another Natalia tag match. Yep. Mm. Like Triple H is going to talk Again. to you for 20 minutes. <laughs> My man. <laughs> yeah, I hope you like video packages that you're going to see on Saturday night. <laughs> <laughs> God. Uh, oh, they need to it. do another rock concert though rock yeah. and Roman concert get Roman involved why oh. the hell not I am um, this is and obviously I we, as you two know I love the rock that's always been my standpoint mm-hmm. on him uh, well, you've got that tattoo that we almost saw I know the Brahma Bull one yeah. not, not many people know about that though Phil so well <laughs> surprise you there. 10k people know now I guess yeah. uh, <laughs> you've got 7 dollars written next to it 7 bucks <laughs> yeah <laughs> Waiting to get me eighth. That'll be nice. <laughs> um, hey, that was for you, lad. Yeah. Um, lost my trail of thought now. I <laughs> would. This is the part that I would be the most interested. Obviously, I've been excited about it all, but Obvious. seeing The Rock by himself. Yeah. Do The Rock do this new Rock where I'm actually doing a character, not just turning up and announcing yeah. show numbers and yada yada yada. That's exciting, man. I'm mm. very keen to see what he does. Obviously, he's a huge fan of his. <laughs> Obviously. Can't wait. He has been nailing it on social media in terms of the oh. solo rock stuff, though, by the way. He's going to drop another one before SmackDown, and I really hope so. I bet. <laughs> yeah. I bet it does. It's going to be constantly refreshing. I know it's bath time for Eric. Just one yeah. second. Yeah. 
I love the timeline of that as well. Like you got the couple of like WWE people going like, "How much do you get fined for swearing on social media?" And then the Rock's just like, "Well, I'm just the Rock. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm just gonna go and say the F word." Yeah, but they can't one. fight him. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Uh, yeah. I was talking to my boss, and uh, I'm but it cool was like so it. soon after yeah. those yeah. things were going out. It's like I'm yeah. turning to take this to higher up. What do you think, me? Hey, hey, you won't. Uh, also, finally, before we get onto the hashtag bloody good quiz, Sailor M and says, Sidgwick says NXT doesn't teach the fundamentals. Fundamentals. But if you ask me, they, if you ask me, they teach the most important part. The fun. Yeah. I agree wholeheartedly. The fun and fundamentals. And the mental. Indeed. <laughs> right. And best possible way. <laughs> and <laughs> that. There is a doubt to one there, I imagine. Of course. Uh, well, enough of all this. It's now time for a bloody good quiz. We're streamlining it today. I feel mm. like we're flying through it. And Ooh. this week's quiz is brought to you by the person who was meant to bring you last week's quiz, but then I changed my mind at the last second because it was someone's birthday, if I remember rightly. Kenny Ospreay. You're asking me the wrong... Yeah, I wasn't there. Kenny Ospreay. <laughs> if it's anyone's birthday today, get in there quick because you're going to miss it. I was not there. Yes. So. Uh, oh, yeah. so this week's hashtag really good quiz is brought to you by <laughs> Owen Hale. Well, me and Hanford just in- in- remember, interchangeable. Remember Do you remember the, the other Blair that was standing like, sitting across <laughs> from us two? I guess it, this week it was Blair 1 and Blair 2. <laughs> Looking forward to Blade 3 next week. <laughs> what about chopped liver? <laughs> you sons of bitches. Uh, Owen Hale uh, writes, five years of what culture and I'm only 20? What? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I thought I'd hit you Oh, that's gross. Oh. Uh. Owen. <laughs> Why do you have to do this to us? Ah, oh, those are formative years, Owen. Ah. Mm. Oh. Um, from That's lockdown pods to the, me. to the new YouTube channel, you guys have been a light in my life for years on end. Being only twenty, I haven't been exposed to the much of the good stuff when it comes to wrestling. <laughs> good yeah. stuff. But like the I'm glad you sat down for this bit. But I've been listening to your podcast for at least twenty percent of my life. Jesus, Jesus, God damn Christ! Sorry to all of them. I hate young people. people. <laughs> a lot of blasphemy there. I hate young people. <laughs> no, listen, I'm not even mad about you being young. You be young, and you keep, keep kicking ass on here. I uh. Yeah, I miss... I, I miss... Being young. <laughs> nah, I don't think I do. I, I miss having the energy. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. I do miss that. Um, but having just watched... I was, we were just talking about this before, and I'm, I, just wanna, oh, yeah. I just want to plug it because I haven't seen it in ages and I enjoyed it. I rewatched after a conversation with Josh Brown. Hi, Josh. Uh, rewatched 40 Days and 40 <laughs> Nights last night. Rom-com, which is... Wildly inappropriate now in 2024. Yes, not aged well. From that era where Hollywood writers were them loser men who were like, <laughs> yeah. "What if we just wrote a scene where someone had to be naked or where yeah. someone had to animate an entire field full of tits?" <laughs> it's like, <laughs> I mean, you can't do that, but they did it anyway. <laughs> did it anyway, and I love that film. And it, but it did remind me of being a, I was 12 when that film came Jeez. out, right? <laughs> And there's some very formative years that, mm, yeah. and when you see Shannon Sossaman, who is a beautiful <laughs> woman, yes, and I hadn't really realised that women with shorter hair were hotter than women with longer hair. In my personal opinion, it changed my whole life, uh, and probably found a lock on my bedroom door after that. <laughs> um, so you enjoy these years, Owen Hill. Well, I'm glad you you've enjoyed. done that because he's in the chat. Hey, hey. hi Owen, thank hi, you Owen. for joining us. There you and go. Thank you for your lovely <laughs> review. Um, Owen continues, by the way. My mom was a huge wrestling fan. Being one of five and the only girl, she tells me about all the stone-cold stunners she hit on her older brothers. Uh, Over the past few years, I've taken her to a WWE house show in Cardiff, Clash in the Castle, and most recently, an on-the-day spontaneous trip to All in London. Nice. Insane atmosphere. What a great son you are, Owen. Uh, I've read... I think what a great mother, what right? Hole. Surely. Yes. Yeah. That's an awesome mother. Uh, I've read Sidger's book on AEW despite never watching an episode prior to All In, Ooh. but I've caught every review, review pod since inception. Cheers, Owen. Cheers to you, Owen. Thank you for that review. Nice. And Thanks. Lovely. Thank you to everyone in the chat uh, for, uh, for sending love to Owen as well. Thank you for that, guys. Um, do you want to take a wild stab at what this week's quiz is all about? Uh, money. 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 I hope it's not about one, Mercedes. One slaps, isn't it? Money. It's just about money. Well. Like stocks and shares. Money. And because my brain is kind of mush. <laughs> my brain is kind of mush. Money, money for nothing and the kicks are free. First thing I thought of was, let's do money. Dollar dollar bills, y'all. And then I realized I've done two in the last year or so with a combination of 
money and all I want money. Money. Pew, 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 pew. Ching, and <laughs> take your money. So I just did another one. <laughs> it is all about money with my favorite question from the last money quiz that we did to start us off to test your memories. Uh, okay. So I don't think it's a <laughs> test. I think it's memory. just a brand new question. Um, so place your bets in the chat. Not actual yeah, monetary don't be bets. Like the laptop is really a sneak. <laughs> oh. uh, this new heel fill in the quizzes is yeah. an interesting character. Hey, my streak's still alive. Beat Hamlet yeah. last week. Did you? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. That's a new one. I beat you. I'm sure I won one. I have no idea. I can't yeah. remember. My streak's still alive. I beat Hamlet last week. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Even if it's streak's won, it's you are correct. It's a new streak. <laughs> you are correct. Um. Who am I to argue with the facts? <laughs> just for fun, everyone. Remember that. Just, <laughs> the facts just, are what just we say. Just for fun. <laughs> Got thrown because Ethan's in the chat saying I've spent nearly 28% of my life listening to the boys. <laughs> 28%? <laughs> stop, going, you can't, yeah. stop going up. Should I feel honored? I think I'm going to choose to feel honored. I'm going yeah. to feel honored. I mean, yeah. like, I feel I powerful. That's a good thing. That's right, 28%. Forming oh, young man. Belongs to us. <laughs> I mean, that's <laughs> probably a bit too far. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know. uh, 10 questions. Tell me when choice. I'm telling nice. <laughs> Chat your name. Remember, it is just for fun. No, just for fun. Just for fun. Mostly. Uh, but Chris has back. No, he'll fill in winning. The chat. It's mostly Apparently. just for fun. Uh, mostly. Question number one, as I said from the last money quiz, I can remember anyway. Jerry Sags of the Nasty Boys. Oh yeah, I remember this. Was once fined seven grand for doing what? Farting. Yay! Yep. And then give him, give him the answers. Give him the options. Go on. Uh, looking like crap. <laughs> okay, not wearing a suit. Burping in a crowd member's face, pissing in a bum bag, or farting in Miss Elizabeth's hair. <laughs> and you know what? The way you've done that, um, he's done it. Where he's put the D one, which is normally a silly answer mm -hmm. that he made up because yeah. it sounds silly, but mm -hmm. it's actually the one. Hey, eh? hey, right. thinks he's fly. He's not, not fly. Uh, question number two. He's gonna get me immediately with the next <laughs> one. Isn't he? Which band dedicated a song to Mercedes Monet, aka Sasha Banks? I need to say that because the song was referencing when she was Sasha Banks. But what was the name of the band who wrote a song about her? Was it the River Snakes, the Mountain Goats, the Tree Koalas, or the Iceberg Donkeys? Well, Nicholas, well it's, it's, you know it's what the it mountain is. It's a mountain goat, because it's the only one that exists. <laughs> 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 uh, it's good. It's good. Song for Sasha Banks by the Mountain Goats is correct. Yeah. Uh, question three. They do a couple. They did one about Eddie Guerrero. That's on, the um, other one, and that'll be why. The tie-in lines. Uh, lineage. Had, was it Bowling for Super did one about Alexa Bliss or something? They did. Like that? Yeah. that was Nightmare Fuel. <laughs> <laughs> that uh, was not appropriate at all. Question three, one each. Um, as part of WWE's corporate synergy, uh, which TV character once helped Sin Cara in a match? Was it Thomas the Tank Engine? Fred Bell. <sighs> Scooby-Dooby-Doo. Reggie? <laughs> Yay! Oh, my <laughs> tricky because Scooby Doo was an answer last week, of course. Ooh. Oh, yeah, because that's what yeah, he was thinking of. Yeah, I was definitely remembering that. <laughs> you remember the quiz from last week. Back. Rainmaker, more like Fishmonger. Oh, my God. <laughs> He's still on it. Question number four. He was far too proud of that quiz last week. <laughs> <laughs> okay, da. <laughs> okay, da. Sometimes I like you. <laughs> Not lot. very often. And it's Usually on, my, on your days off. Yeah, the days <laughs> when I'm thinking like, oh, he's all right. <laughs> uh, question number four. At which WrestleMania did Mercedes Monet make her first appearance? Monet. 30, 31, 32, or 33? Nicholas. Monet. Oh, no. <laughs> 32. I was there. No, dear, that's wrong. Ooh. Oh, huh? hmm. is this a, an entrance? Oh, thing? it is. Ah, it is. It is. Come on, you can do this. 30, 31. I can't remember when the entrance was, though. So think about who she would have been in the entrance for. It was Triple H. Of course it was. And but what the, was 31? Oh, the Sting, the Sting match was 31, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah. So it's not that. The, yeah, so I don't know when it, what he did in 30 or 33. Of course you do. Do I? Yeah. What did he do with 30? Daniel Bryan? Yeah. But did he have an entrance for that? Did Triple did H? Well, no, did he have like a special entrance no, for that? Just, I don't remember. Well, 30. <laughs> WrestleMania 30. Yay! Did he have an entrance? 
<laughs> and then he's like, did he have a special entrance? Yes. He, he, like, the the show opens one. and he's just yeah. waiting in the ring for Brian to come up. Hey, God. <laughs> get the job like, Let's go. go. Come on. Triple H is ready. I <laughs> thought I was going to get you with that one. Yeah, it's good, that. It's good. It was well, WrestleMania 30. She made her first appearance yeah. as yeah. part of Triple H's entrance. Rubbish. Uh, which no, the, that, that one wasn't rubbish, but you yeah. being... Three ones to yeah, fill. Totally, you got me. Now, this is an either-or question. Get it wrong, the point will go to your opponent. Yeah. But what costs more, a cameo from Mercedes Monet or a cameo from Ryback? <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had a coin. Uh... Don't look at me. You're on the lead, man. You've got the, you got the charge. You've got the juice. I think you've got I'm the tempted juice. to think that this is a trick question and Mercedes money isn't on Cameo, so a Ryback one costs more. Ooh, interesting. I'm a trickster, aren't I? Yeah, I'm a you? riddler, really, if anything. If anything, he's a uh, riddler. If you don't come out dressed as a riddler at the live show, what, <laughs> what <laughs> even is the, the is the point? What is the point? No, you have you get changed, obviously. Right. I guess I'll have to go dress as the riddler. <laughs> oh, no, guys, I'll get you close here, mate. Nah, too late now. Twiddling his cane in the middle, <laughs> like a question mark on it. Well, looks like that's me. You can't come in with that. Well, I'm not coming in then. Well, looks like if it's, it's, yeah. it's mania or the costume. <laughs> Phil. Right, in the bar then. Uh, Ryback, just because it's funny. Yeah, come on. And it's a weird question if it's not, because why would you pick Ryback? Yay! Hey, that's good. Mercedes is on cameo for now, yeah. at least. 174 pounds. Oh, no, he's actually just more expensive. 196 pounds, oh yeah. God. Yeah, of course he is. <laughs> Discussed this before. I there love looking at cameos, like prices. Listen, there are wrestlers in the business who understand their value. He is not one of them. <laughs> I went on, because I went on. He wildly overestimates yeah. his value. Yeah. I went on wrestlers, right? I was fascinated by this. I went on wrestlers and I was like, right. That's 196 pound Ryback cameo. Because you've got, so Ryback is. Uh, Ryback, eight, or himself maybe. Hey, He's yeah, like the 15th most expensive cameo Sheesh. on the entire site. That's ludicrous. Um, I've told you. Nikki Bella's ahead of him. It's Ryback. You can't Nikita just Lyons. always yeah. ludicrous. <laughs> Nikita Lyons is the same price, 196. But I think that's for, anyway. Ludacris did have a song called Shake Your Moneymaker, which is a great song. So it's, it's all topical, really, <laughs> you know what I mean? And it's like, yeah. The and I assume Ryback is a big fan. Top <laughs> view on here, right? He's not. So he's above Ryback, not. you've got <laughs> Britt Baker. Well, Britt Baker's on the same level. You've got the Bella Twins separately. You've got Dolph Ziggler, Jerry Lawler, um, Liv Morgan, Michael Buffer's included in sort of all this. Do it again? Uh, most expensive cameos. <laughs> oh, we still on cameo. Again? Okay, there we go. Vicky Guerrero is the same price as Ric Flair on cameo. Okay. Hey, listen. Second highest cameo is MJF. And the highest is Vulcan, an actor and former pro wrestler. And I think a former gladiator, perhaps. British gladiator. Okay. Um, but you know, you like look on, you can see all the past cameos they've done. Which is understandable when someone's charging £784 for a cameo. Oh, so he's not had any? Not as far as I can see. I mean... <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah. Can, I can see all of, like, Max's old ones. It's or, a move. It's definitely a move. It's like someone's forced him to be on cameo, and he's gone, right, I can be, how can I be on camera, but never actually have to work? <laughs> actually doing it. Yeah, there you go. Um, there you go. Right, uh, four that. one to fill. We're at the halfway point. Yeah. Uh, question number six. When working the indies... Mercedes had what animal used on her by an opponent? Was it a dog, a snake, a sloth, or a kangaroo, like one of those jack ones that me and Havler are always watching the videos of? I've got your dog. I've got your dog. <laughs> Phil, a dog. No, dear, that's wrong. Your options are snake, sloth, or kangaroo. Do I go with the one I want it to be? <laughs> when when was this? When she was working the indies like, before. Like before WWE. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. They placed this. I don't care. Yeah. Sloth. <laughs> no, dear. No. That's wrong. <laughs> it was a snake. Oh, I know, but the snake was boring though, wasn't yeah. it? Like, yeah. Okay. Uh, still 4-1. Four, 4-1. One. Four, one. Question seven. Uh, you, as you remember from the previous Monet quiz... Money. Um, the word money is said 68 times in Shane McMahon's entrance theme. Oh, one away. 
But how much money was Shane McMahon paid per second <laughs> for his appearance in the 2022 Royal Rumble? Was it $306, $612 per second, oh, yeah. $1,225? Or two thousand four hundred and fifty dollars. Bill, the highest one. D. Yeah. Yay! Yeah, of course Yay! It was. Yeah. He worked five and a half minutes. <laughs> that was the only match he had that entire year. He was obviously fired after putting himself over Brock Lesnar <laughs> almost bankrupting yeah. the company. <laughs> and he made eight hundred twenty-seven thousand pounds or so. That appearance. Yeah. Hey, if hey, you've got works. a chance to get yourself paid, you get yourself paid. Here comes smarter, the not money. Harder. <laughs> eh? that's, that's the way. But how much, and I've got the answer for this one. Oh. Um, how much money did he make per milliliter of sweat? <laughs> <laughs> and the answer one is... <laughs> yeah, <one. laughs> it all evens out. Yeah. Uh, final three questions. These are just for fun now. Phil's, just Phil's wrapped it up. Question eight, what is Mercedes Money. guilty pleasure? Yeah. Is it brownies? Is it putting a whoopee cushion on someone's chair? <laughs> is it eating breakfast for tea? Or is it knocking on people's Brina. doors and oh. running away? <laughs> Doing the slow day, Anna. Yeah. Yeah. Bill, breakfast for dinner. No, dear, that's uh, wrong. My nephew calls it a topsy turvy day. Topsy turvy. How old's your nephew? Eighteen. <laughs> <laughs> and I respect it. <laughs> there is no more of a power move than eating breakfast later in the day. I think. Oh, like I think that's like a, an adult move. I yeah, like doing like that on, the, you're an adult and you're on live stream you days. I like you, have a have a bit of a nap, wake up, and then it, it's sort of breakfast, but it's in it's the evening. The, it's the yeah. order of the day, and yeah. like so. He, he has a question for you then. When you're doing your meals, like I have this. You could sometimes, you could, I think you could, you know what the quarter is for the day, right? Usually you're going to have three meals, uh, whatever. Like three meals, and there's these three different versions of what they could be, mm -hmm. right? Do you ever just have a day where, like, you've, you say you didn't get up in time for breakfast, maybe, mm -hmm. or something? I'm looking at you, probably, because it's more like your speed, this. <laughs> you're usually having, you have a child now. Yeah, <laughs> you, that's, my, that's my old life. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, let's say you wake up and you think, oh, instead of having breakfast, I'm going to do the lunch bit instead. Mm -hmm. And then you make sure you have tea. Whatever you were, I don't know. Hmm. If you're southern or so, whatever. Breakfast, dinner, and lunch. Ah, oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> right. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner is the one I was talking about. Anyway. Yeah. You've done the two, but then you're going to get the end of the day. Is it To me, it's just like, well, you just eat the breakfast bit. And then yeah. Because yeah. collectively, at the end of the day, you can eat them in any order, though, surely, mm -hmm. right? You yeah. Could just eat, so like you could have the you could have if you really want to, maybe you wouldn't do it unless you had like leftover Chinese food, for example. Oh. And I'd go like, boom. That's thin. So I'd work my way back around and be like, by the end of the night, I wouldn't have to have a, like dinner, dinner. I could if I'm feeling crazy. Yeah. But if you just want to make sure you've eaten it, you just have breakfast, don't you? That's especially like if you, if you wake up late saying? and you have your if you have like your, your breakfast it. lunch, that's normally a little bit earlier than yeah. you would normally have your lunch. Uh -huh. So then your evening meal is a little bit earlier too, yeah, and yeah, you yeah. just got that little snack top before bed kind of thing. Sometimes I'll be like, I reckon I could do my breakfast and my lunch in one meal. So I'm like. That's me, so porridge for blueberries or whatever. And I'm like, Ooh. and let's go to the main event of the lunchtime or whatever. <laughs> I'm like, fuck it. Put your hands together. And I'm like, there you go. There's two meals. And now I don't have to have anything until dinner because I've been a big boy. Like, I've done me work ahead of time. I've <laughs> <laughs> oh, been a big boy. So. been a big boy. So, free day now. Free hit day. Snack in the middle. Yeah, and you're glad you came for this quiz, aren't you? You're glad. I also realised I've... I was tired this quiz and got distracted because in the correct, I put the correct answer to the bowl. I put knocking on doors and running away, which, wasn't, <laughs> <laughs> which is not a great answer. <laughs> uh, I think it's your guess. You, oh, you're, up, you're up to the I think it's knocking the door and running away, actually. <laughs> no, dear, that's wrong. Uh, very, uh, it's actually technically, yeah. it's what I've got right down in front of me. <laughs> it's got, you said. I read it was brownies, <laughs> but uh, yeah. now apparently she likes knocking on the door and running away. You said it's what's written in you're front right, of you. You're all right. There you go. <laughs> One point for Nicholas. <laughs> <laughs> and now I only need two more meals and I'll finish the day. <laughs> Question nine. 
How did uh. <laughs> how did Mercedes Money. allegedly get her role in The Mandalorian? Was it the director saw her wearing Star Wars themed gear on a pay per view? Was it eating hot wings? Was it making Nicholas, her? It's the hot wings one, isn't it? I think. Yay! Mm. I'm really glad you stopped me there. Yeah, no, I want you to keep going. Just at home, not on the YouTube channel. <laughs> yeah, she was on hot wings. <laughs> uh, hot wings I was sorry. staring in her window while she was eating hot <laughs> wings at home and thought. And I thought, you know what? Now no, there's she... a Star Wars character. <laughs> What's his name? John Favreau. John Favreau, John Favreau saw her yeah. on there and just thought, yeah, yeah. she was awesome, which is yeah. which is a great story. Um, the other options would have been... Um, I think he thought, hmm, WWE, that's a good crossover. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Got loads of exposure. I love John Favreau, I suppose, yeah. but uh, yeah. yeah. No uh, easy money. Yeah. <laughs> the other options would have been uh, making her own lightsaber or straight up bribery. Question <laughs> <laughs> 10. All good and all... All good answers. All very viable options. Uh, question 10. Just for fun. Just for fun. Just for fun. What was just being for fun? Uh, what did WWE want spend an outrageous... $30,000 on. That's not really outrageous to them, though, is it? Yeah, I mean, we've only no. covered what they spent on Shane McMahon. I think that's a bit more outrageous. Yeah. <laughs> was it a gaze? Nothing. That is 15 of Shane McMahon's minutes? Seconds? <laughs> seconds. 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 15 of his seconds. I think they're good. <laughs> Sorry. Well, what, did they, what did they splash the as cash? As you were, quiz master. Uh, breakfast <laughs> for dinner. No. Mm. Your options are. Dinner for breakfast? <laughs> <laughs> Your options are hot wings. Uh, is it food, food related? It's <gasps> right back cameos. <laughs> that for for every member of the roster, <laughs> <laughs> everybody, you get a cameo. You, you get, get a cameo. cameo. Bad that news, guys. Got to work funny. Christmas, but we have we yeah. got a surprise got for a surprise you. Surprise for you at the Christmas party. <laughs> All his enemies, we made him do a, yeah, a Christmas a nice one cameo, cameo for you. <laughs> I've always loved CM Punk. <laughs> Paid, I have to say it. You get to pay, you got to sing cult of personality. <laughs> Look at my eyes. He's in what his, do you see? He's in his car, car, he's in in his car doing that cameo, isn't he? <laughs> Just in his car, like with a little drink in his burger. <laughs> Look in my eyes. <laughs> uh, right. Uh, your options. Less. <laughs> Come on, you got this. Your you can do it. Take it home, baby. Oh, this is my microphone. <laughs> Uh, shout out to Mark Lee Willis, by the way. He says, knocking on someone's door and running away was called knockout ginger where I live. <laughs> so this That's is a very different an game, interesting Josh. illustration of the hokey, corky, hokey, pokey thing, mm -hmm. right? Because things change over time, right? It was called knocky door ginger where I was from. Mm. And I, I think originally it was meant to be knock, knock, knocky door danger. Oh, and I think that someone misheard it uh, and got it wrong. That makes more sense. And then I knock down ginger waiting down until someone opens the door, and if ginger. they're ginger, punch them. Yeah, yeah. that's a different I mean, game, though. Yeah. I guess. Knock, knock, ginger here know, in South Wales says Owen Hale. I was just knock a door run. Knock a door, door run. Yeah. Well, knock a door run is the common one, and yeah. it's the one that was on. I was an uh, Art and Monkeys track called Knock, Knock, Knock Run. Knock a door run. I didn't like it. Uh, yeah, when when I met someone and we were talking about this, and I was like. Knock a door run. That's a good, you know, it explains what you have to do. Yeah. yeah. Very simple. And then we called it knock and run. I was like, that's too basic. <laughs> too, too simple. Too much. Come knock on. what? Knock what? Catchy. Yeah. Hey, it's, got, it's still got to get the message across. Be, yeah. be communicative. Yeah. We're not, we're not all mind readers. Knock and run. I've been, yeah. Brilliant. You ever play um, Garden Gnomes? God knows you knock on the door and like all five of you just have to stand there. What? No, 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 I'm terrified. Just, it's like obviously they're going to come for you. It's the last one to move. It's, <laughs> it's the winner. It's the winner. You've got to have them. Just steal nope, the no, love it. There's five of you standing there. Like, oh, shit. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> I've sworn three times on this Your podcast. Your positioning now. in the garden is very important. Of course for that it is, game, yeah. Charlie. Yeah. I mean, if you're, if you're smart, <laughs> you go to the back and watch them all get You scared. all have to do different gnome poses. Like someone has oh, to be. You can. Barrow, you can. It's, it was a lot of people doing the Finn Bala, like. Just like the arms by your side, yeah. feet together, and go like. Please don't punch me. Yeah, just like. <laughs> I was just one guy who they used to call him Godzilla because he give you because he give you the best chases like, <laughs> like, like running down the street. That's the worst thing you do, isn't it? Yeah. Give, give. It's like you can't yeah. you don't give a good chase because <laughs> yeah. they're gonna come back to your house. Yeah. I always remember feeling that pang of like I don't want to do this. This is really crap to the person in the house. <laughs> but you're like I'm gonna do it anyway because I'm a kid. And I'm yeah, not, obviously yeah. everyone else. Is yeah, doing everyone it. Else I'm not being the only one. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, you had to do it. Yeah. Yeah. There were some kids who had. I was never great at um, garden gnomes of course but some kids just didn't <laughs> care <laughs> it's like stay there overnight yeah, like, yeah, little bag 
little hat with a uh, John Harrison <laughs> says, I still play it today. I'm 33. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Where I'm from, it was called You Want to Be a Dick. Um, <laughs> Austin says, it's Ding Dong Ditch here in the US, of course. Ding Dong Ditch. Nicky Nicky Nine Doors here yes, in Canada, I've says Morris that. Valentine. Or Nicky Knocky Nine Doors yeah. as well, I've also heard. That's nine, nine doors, though. Nine That's doors. very specific. Yeah. I'll have a game of this on the way home. Imagine being, <laughs> imagine being the tenth door. He's got left out. Eh? Yeah. yeah. Oh, sorry, nine doors. I'm done for the day. Enough. That's enough. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be back for you. Crazy. We'll be back for you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> the last one at the end. Um, oh, oh yeah, Chris, Chris, Chris has gone off. <laughs> cliff, hasn't it? I forgot we had a question still to go. Yeah. Well, there you go. Uh, what did WWE want spend thirty grand on? <laughs> oh yeah. Was it? Was it? Oh. A parrot that could say wrestler catchphrases. <laughs> asshole. Organic worms for the boogie man. What would the parrot sound Organic like? Organic worms. No. This man want a rock cooked in. So much better than what I was. What 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 other phrases would they do? What? Uh, what? You could do that. What? Again. There you go. Yeah, good. What else? Welcome to Raw is Parrot. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't quite get that one. Didn't get that one. So he's going into business for himself with that one. <laughs> <laughs> Any more? Uh, <laughs> Any other ones? I'm better than you, and you know it. Yeah. Uh, update. He's going up to date. All right. Well, uh, okay. We'll we'll revisit that. Raw is parrot. So that's one of the options. <laughs> uh, oh. Don't have the options. No. <laughs> Someone's just lost their mind at this quiz, haven't they? <laughs> <laughs> it's been ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> just want the quiz to end. Imagine if you had money on this as well. Yeah. It really matters. See, it would be great, though, yeah. wouldn't it? Oh. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, God. <laughs> right. So, uh, wrestling. Wait, I'll tell you what, re-establish it from the beginning. Okay. So, question number 10. What did WWE want to spend 30 grand on? <laughs> Rory's <laughs> uh, parrot. <laughs> Fred Moore says Rory's parrot shirt went. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, apparently, they can say rest of the catchphrases. Yep. Organic worms for the boogeyman. Yes. Yeah. A Roman Reigns glove for the SmackDown fist. <laughs> <laughs> or, nice. or North Atlantic whale testicles for the pay per view Great Balls of Fire. Because apparently, they got the biggest testicles in the world. So <laughs> that's what I've heard. That's what you've Googled. Which, what are the biggest testicles in the world? Just to pop the boys. <laughs> That's his search history. There you go. Which animal has the biggest balls? <laughs> <laughs> Didn't even write testicles. Straight in no, there. Which animal has the biggest <laughs> balls? Oh, dear. Oh. Oh. Does I it even matter really anymore? I parrot. don't think so. Uh, I think I'm going to, yeah, let's go with the parrot because um, he's been the parrot. He deserves it, you know. Put a lot of work in that parrot. <laughs> Got no, your dear, that's wrong. Oh, oh is it not? Uh, okay. They kind of give him the bloody. Why he would he ate normal worms? Why would he want organic worms? Maybe it was a standards and practices thing. Maybe you can only allow to <laughs> live murder worms. These on worms TV. have to have been able to graze. <laughs> <laughs> These are just the, everyday the worms. Worms have got to have a certain standard of living yeah. before yeah. they're allowed to be hey, eaten alive. If you've got to do it for the cows and the TV. chickens, you've got to do it for the worms as well. Oh, so yeah. yeah, go on, organic worms. How many people had a wrestling move called Yay! the chicken? None. How many wrestlers had a worm called the worm? Nope, that's worm wrong. <laughs> Hi, this is my worm. That's worm. worm. <laughs> called worm. And this is my dog. Called dog. Uh, it was correct. <laughs> this is my parrot. They used organic worms um, when he dropped them on JBL. And, so uh, it was JBL so that wanted the organic yeah. worms. Because he wasn't taking those dirty earthworms. Oh, God, no. no. God, no. Only organic worms. Only the JBL. high end. Only the high end for John. Uh, <laughs> it's, a, it's, it's a Court Bauer. Uh, story this and yeah he says basically they were like oh this looks great it's raining worms how much does that cost 30 grand what <laughs> and then he, he says grand. the assistant was probably fired soon after okay yeah. <laughs> just, uh, just uh, can you go buy some worms and they went no worries MS worms please <laughs> nobody specified <laughs> where to get the worms from um so at the end of all well, that yeah <laughs> yeah congratulations to phil chambers the winner of this week's quiz <laughs> 
Let us know how you got on. And if you lost any money uh, on the quiz <laughs> on eggs at What Culture WWE. Uh, well, I say you can follow all three of us. You can follow Phil Chambers at Phil My Chambers. You can follow Nicholas at. You've gone the wrong way around. <laughs> it's Adam Nicholas. And you can also follow Adam Wilborn at. Adam Wilborn, a shout out to Owen Hale. He says, well done, lads. That was painful. And that was his quiz. <laughs> so. <laughs> we did it. Change the five-star review. 20% yeah. per- <laughs> of your life, baby. <laughs> All right. Um, thanks, everyone, who's joined us. Those two regretting their life yeah. chances now. <laughs> thanks, everyone, who's joined yeah. us live on YouTube. You can check out this. I never used to preview. drink. I do now. This <laughs> preview, wherever you get your podcasts from. But for now, this has been Wrestle Culture. Oh, thanks, Rod Nicholas and Phil Chase. Thank you for joining us, and we will see you soon. Wrestle Culture is recorded in front of a live studio audience. Wrestling! I mean, how am I topping that? (laughs) Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Owen. We're we're sorry. (laughs) Owen, in particular, for uh, sponsoring this week's quiz. Um, Yeah. We'll be back next week for the the final, not ever, uh, for the final wrestle culture. We probably will be after this yeah. episode. Final wrestle culture before we WrestleMania. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> Wallculture.com forward slash tickets. Still time to get your tickets for our live show going down in Philadelphia. So do join us for that on the Sunday, day two of WrestleMania. Plenty of time to get over in the afternoon. After that, Philadelphia. Underground Arts, make sure you join us, whatculture.com forward slash tickets, and we'll see you soon. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye.